how to set up an easy science center for young children. All right, guys. So first, you can make a living science center by first having either live plants where children can water them throughout the year. You can start them from seed or bring in a plant. You can have live um, like a live class pet or a home pet or observation such as a caterpillar or a bug that you guys captured outside. And then they can also jot down their observations of what that animal or whatever you have in the science center. You can also keep nonfiction books. Um, so if you're, for example, we have a caterpillar in here. So we have the life cycle, a butterfly's life sitting right beside it. So children can reference it as they are exploring um, this here. Also, you want to have science tools. So you want to have things like a magnifying glass. So I know earlier today we had um, my kids came up and they were trying to find the caterpillar and just having that ready to go is an awesome way to um, have in your science center. You can also have tools like a microscope. Um, since we're doing bugs right now, we have a little bug catcher here. Um, you can also have tools like rocks. You can get real rocks or you can get some special rocks from the National Geographic and it has like different facts about them. Um, again, you want to keep things like books and things that are talking about what you might have in your science center at the moment. You may also have puzzles like future scientists or other cool areas of science like astronomy, out in space, floor puzzles that they can build with. You could also have other aspects of science like anatomy and talking about the human body. Right now we're talking about our teeth and so this is a cool little hands-on way for children to explore um, body parts in a very cool way. And they can pretend even scientific roles like a dentist. Um, and then we have our book here and then we're planning to go throughout the school year exploring different parts of the body. And this is like a little glow in the dark uh, human body sticker book. Another simple activity is using a weather wheel where children can be the weather forecaster for the week or the day. Um, you could also pair it with books like Wishes the Weather Book. This is one of my early books that I wrote and I'll make sure I also link this below. And if you're feeling like, where do I even start with my science center? Take your students or your children outside, see what they grab, ask questions like, what do you see? What do you hear? What do you notice? What can we find? What does it feel like? Those are some great scientific questions that can lead to amazing discoveries. I remember like we would just grab leaves on, off the ground, different color leaves, different shapes, and look at books and try to identify what type of tree did this leaf fall from? Or you can collect rocks or acorns or pine anything that you see outside. You can look in the sky and talk about astronomy, sun, moon, stars. I mean, guys, God created the world and science is 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 like it reveals the glory of God, like literally. Um, and so you can go endless with all of the things. So let me know right now in the comments below what was a cool little tip that you're going to do with your science center. Let me know if you teach preschool, kindergarten, first grade, second, third, whatever. These tips I feel like can really work for any grade. Um, and the tools you saw, it's in the comments. It's in the description box below. Um, and if you're new here, my name is Brianna. I'm the founder and author of the Brown Bear Book Club. Would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Join the club for free. I send you additional resources, tools, and tips. But in the meantime, let's finish this conversation in the comments below below.